this show, episode number 150. I am your host, Tomo Sanzo. Joining me today is Ro. Hello, all you happy people. Hey there, Ro. How are you, man? Slowly but surely.、Hmm? One of those days, but we're managing. I wish that we don't have one of those days, you know what I mean? Where everything's just cool, relaxed, and we can chill. Right now, I'm chilling. That's not good. It depends, it depends. There's time and place for everyone. There's time for leisure and there's time for work. Right now, we're supposed to be working, yet we're too much into leisure. <laughs> That is also true. That is also true. So, as you can clearly tell, audience who are listening to this, we are down by one host and we are also down by one guest. Yes, it's one of those episodes. And down by so many news. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. It's the hiatus, man. It can't be helped. But anywho, before we move on, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who subscribed to the MBS show. Big shout outs to you, Silver. Thank you for giving us a shout out on your show. And thank you for everyone who was、uh, listening to this now, who just subscribed. And thank you for all the previous subscribers that still listen to this. For you new subscribers, if you want to listen to Silver, catch him every Thursday, 12 a.m. Eastern. And you'll get to listen to us banter about the comics. So, yeah, first issue. Woohoo! So much fun, so much fun. So, anywho, Ro, how has your day been, man? It's been steady, it's been steady. Been walking around EQD, looking at what other pony artists have drawn and doing and improving upon, looking for some inspiration. And there's a whole lot of air. I think this is going to be one of those episodes where we don't really talk about pony news that much, which is kind of strange since we're a pony podcast. Indeed.、Yeah. We're kind of going off topic one episode at a time. <laughs> <laughs> we got to correct that. You know what? I think we should just go on to news and roll with the punches because I think I can fill up news time. Yay. Well, if you say so. All right, now it's news time at the MBS show. And in today's news time, breaking news ponies no longer on Netflix. Here's the reasons why. A while back, news sites have reported that most of Hasbro's shows were getting delisted from Netflix. It appears that Hasbro was the one who pulled the plug. The reasons why Hasbro did this was the market itself at ANATPE, a conference for content creators and distributors. The plan is to strengthen ties with old partners as well as reaching out to new digital partners in emerging markets. This has been Robbie Wall with the MBS Show News. Back to you, Norman. Thanks, man. And yeah, it looks like Pony got pulled out of Netflix. The reason why is, well, Hasbro wanted to expand its reach. I'm so confused at why they did this. It's not that Netflix is a bad partner to do content with, but I wonder who else they could look for. Any ideas, Ro? Not that I know of any. I mean, don't forget where I'm living. We don't have Netflix or anything like that accessible.、Mm, true. Same here. Same here. But from what I know, Netflix is a really good service. You can watch any show on demand where you can just subscribe to a monthly service and get all the episodes you want. So, still, that's good. Indeed. Maybe they want to increase DVD sales or something. Who knows? True, probably, probably. We'll just take a look see. We'll just take a look see. So, well, that's all for the scripted news. But you know what? Something you said earlier piqued my interest. You mentioned about how we are waning away from pony news. Or maybe it could be just me because I've been in the fandom for like almost, well, almost two years or something. I lost track of time. And I've noticed that as of late, I've been. Going a bit further and further from the fan, I've been trying to like hang out with other groups, being in other places. Well, then again, that's my artistic thing. I need to be all, I want to be all rounded. That's one thing. Second thing, well, I don't know. I didn't lose, maybe I'm losing interest one, you know, day at a time.、Hmm. Well, it is the hiatus, so we don't get much news. But so... there's still the comics. I should probably try to get myself into that.、Mm, I、should. could do a review with you guys in silver. <laughs> Yay, you should, man. But、uh, talking about moving to other interests and stuff and talking about other things, because the daily recently posted up a new site called Desu Daily. <laughs> Desu Daily? Yep. Some something. Okay, let me guess. It's、uh, something about mangas and animes. 
Well, you're not far off, and technically you're right. It's all about anime news, from what I can tell on their website. It's, um, technically what Daisu Daily is, it's basically EQD, but for anime. But I'm looking at it right now. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. And the whole setup is similar to Equestria Daily. So Even if, the theme's the same. Yeah. So if you like the Equestria Daily format, this is a good anime news site to follow. I'm not really into the anime um, news site, so I don't really know. But this looks good. I really like how Equestria Daily's news format is. So yeah. Um, this is a new site to uh, visit if you're interested in anime. It's been a while since I've been into anime. I used to have a friend who was a big anime geek. He would always suggest me an anime or something if I was, like, you know, bored and didn't know what to look at. Good times, good times. Anime, for me, I have a hard time watching anime now because of my interest in certain topics and certain shows. Like, right now, most of the animes are out there are basically idol girls, idol school girl kind of anime, and they're not my thing. I've been looking at a few big giant robot shows, like the one recently I watched was Gunbuster and Die Buster. So, that was cool, and I'm starting to go into Fully Cooly. So, yay, that's awesome. Oh, Fully Cooly. I've seen the first episodes of the anime. That was something. Oh, really now? Yes. Hmm, nice, nice. Other than that, let's see. Uh, I've been playing a lot of games on the Steams. Don't even go there. <laughs> Why, man? I've done nothing but play freaking games for five days ever since I got that Xbox controller. <laughs> How are you liking the Xbox controller, man? I'm loving it if I haven't <laughs> left the computer in five days. <laughs> oh, no. So, how's playing Revengeance? Much easier? I love it. <laughs> It's so awesome. Okay, okay. So much power, such vibrations, so many buttons. <laughs> it still has the same button as your previous controller. No. Really? It's a diff well, kinda, sorta, but you just don't have it doesn't have that same kind of awesome feel into it. I don't I don't know how to describe it. It has a different feel to it. Okay, okay. I can agree. I can agree with you <laughs> that way. But still, but still, let's get back on track, man. Let's get back on track. Let's talk about pony news. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> but we do other things too. With the hiatus still here, news is scarce. So for us to talk about news, it's just going to be cons. Isn't the fandom like doing anything big? I mean, I'm looking at news, but things are really quiet. Well, in terms of huge events, but art, fanfics, everything of that, it's, it's still moving, it's still good. The fandom has not fallen asleep on that part. Mm, but the true, rest, true. things are kind of going, you know, just quiet. Everything's just at peace. It's like halftime in football, only without cheerleaders. Well, at least there's trailers. That's true, that's true. Wait, they did release trailers for season five, didn't they? Or was that just me hearing stuff? No, it's a teaser trailer. I don't think they show anything new. But it's just um, cryptic messages talking about what to expect, but not really. So have you, you've seen them. So what are they? What are they showing? Because I, I have not. Don't know. I haven't been paying attention. From what I can tell, out of the Pinkie Pie one, it's just Pinkie being Pinkie. Yeah, that's kind of in the obvious section of life. Indeedy, indeedy. But besides that, um, since we got a lot of time to kill, let's talk about one thing interesting that I see here, and that's PonyCon. And PonyCon recently got a guest announced, and that's Vincent Tong, voice actor for Waifu Stealing Flash Sentry. Yay! Oh, <laughs> sweet. I know. And, well... He's going to be there. He's going to be stealing your waifus. So be on the lookout. <laughs> I still haven't figured out how the heck that it all started. This whole waifu stealing thing. <laughs> Easy, man. A lot of Twilight fans don't like Flash Sentry because he's trying to be in a relationship with Twilight officially. <laughs> <sighs> typical. Typical. Uh, what? Typical Vincent or typical Flash? Typical fandom. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's a fictional character. But then again, what do I know? Can't really judge them considering how much I had, uh, quote-unquote, waifus in the past. 
<laughs> wow. You want to share it with us, man? Uh, the list is quite big. It would take a while. It will take more than three episodes to probably share the entire thing. Wow. So knowing how we record, it will be, what, three hours or more? <laughs> three days. Oh, God. What yeah, back been... then, I was a really lonely artist. Oh, boy. But now I'm kind of on the level, you know. I'm chilled. I got priorities. I got a vision of what I want to do. And, you know, you heard that story a lot already. I'm on that path. And talking about the path, right? I'm thinking, have we been following our path for our New Year's resolution? Uh, kind of, sort of, maybe. I for, I for once say no, because I have not been doing what I'm set out to be doing. And what was that again? And that's doing vlogs, doing personal videos, and us doing Let's Plays and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yep. Kind of forgot about that. Yep. <laughs> we should really do something about that, man. Uh, I don't even know anymore. You know, the Russians have a saying. You want to make God laugh, make plans for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, that bad, eh? It's not bad. It's just that... Things constantly change. Everything's dynamic. Nothing stands still. And we're making plans now, but some event may occur and we have to change routes. Routes. Sorry, routes. I meant to say routes. Yeah. And, you know, these plans have to be put aside or totally forgotten. Everything's just... Yeah. You just mm-hmm. don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Today, I'm here sitting in my office, sitting in my chair, looking at my screen and different pictures and stuff. And the next thing I know, I'm somewhere in, I don't know, maybe America on top of the Empire State Building taking selfies. <laughs> well, I hope you do so, man. You just don't know. Life's crazy. Life's crazy. True that, true so it's best. That. Maybe it's maybe the best thing is to, you know, just go with the flow, not plan. If it comes, take it. If it bites, run. Mm, true that. If it's true a party, that. dance. <laughs> All right, true you know that, what I'm true saying? That. I know, man. I know. Just go with the events. Go do your thing, but we're doing every day from day to day. And, if, and you know, just wait for things to happen. All right. I totally respect that. And, you know, I should really do something. Just just do something, you know. At least get myself a bit busy. I think. feel you. I already got myself busy. <laughs> hmm? That's good. I'm making comics. <laughs> oh, really now? Yes. Well, practicing and make comic book panels and everything. I don't know, is it wrong that I'm doing comics without, like, you know, reading comics in the past? Well, I did read comics in the past, but not a lot of them. Comics back here in my country was kind of like, it's, it's kind of hard to get. But now we have internet and everything. It's still kind of problematic, but in terms of finances. Well, um, I won't say that's wrong. You're an artist, and this is another medium for you to get better or get good in your craft. So Indeed. I say this is good. I say this is a good um, motivation or a good stepping stone for you to advance. Indeed. It's just that I got so many ideas for all my characters every day, no matter what I'm doing, taking out the trash, washing the dishes, or staring at the window. I always daydream about stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay, as long as you advance, man. We don't want you to daydream and do nothing about it. Yes, of course. And anywho, we are at our end point. With no news, no guests, we really don't want to waste your time, audience. So I have to say that this is the end of the episode. Sorry, nothing special to be given for you on this 150th episode. But still, it's the thought that counts. And you listening to us still here, it's a pleasure for us to entertain you. Indeed. Maybe we should become the all-rounded brony show or something not talk about just brony fandom but i mean there's a lot of other fandoms out there true true i don't know my suggestion maybe if you're like you know go the same path i'm going be all around and not just hang out in one place but maybe go in different places hmm i hang out with the bronies i hang out with the furries hurrians trekkies star wars fan i go almost everywhere where my eyes can see and where my foot can walk that's a good plan you know what? I'll keep that to account. And, you know, if we do another show that's the two of us, we probably should do that, man. Indeed. I mean, we're already talking about different stuff, not just brony. Yeah, true that. And what's going on in the fandom and the show. We also talk about anime and games. So why not just, let's go all around it. Seems like one course to take. Then we'll have more news and more accessibilities and, you know, more people probably with more interests. Hmm, probably, probably. 
But anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshow at gmail.com. And if you'd like to email us personally, well, links are in the show notes. You can also reach the show on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. Sweetie, what will? I guess she's going to have a cakewalk with this one. And also you can reach me at Roman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And... Well, nothing much happening really, just food. <laughs> and what about you, Ro? You can find me at Twitter at Relicious underscore art. I tweet about, well, mostly I just tweet my art. <laughs> well, at least there's something. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. And also you can catch us on PonyvilleLife.com. Links will be provided in the show notes. So I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Romuald, a.k.a. Relicious. And we'll see you next week with a much more better show than this one. <laughs> Take us out, Ro. And we'll see you on the next show. Bye-bye!